Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel Mac Tutorials. My name is Arna. In today's video, uh, we will discuss centrifugal pump. This is an another topic in hydraulic machines till now. We covered the topic of hydraulic turbines. So let's discuss centrifugal pump. Before discussing centrifugal pump, we need to know what is pump. So we need to know what is pump. So pump is nothing but the hydraulic machines. Pump is nothing but the hydraulic hydraulic machines which converts which converts mechanical energy mechanical energy into hydraulic energy are called pump are called pump so pump is nothing but the hydraulic machine which convert hydraulic energy into uh, so, uh, which converts mechanical energy into hydraulic energy is called pump in this case the hydraulic uh, hydraulic energy is in form of pressure energy so we can also say that the hydraulic machines which convert mechanical energy into pressure energy of the fluid is called pump so now discuss what is centrifugal centrifugal pump What is centrifugal pump? We can say it CPS like this. So centrifugal as the word is uh, coming centrifugal, which means there is something related with centrifugal force, like some something like that. So centrifugal pumps is nothing but the hydraulic machines. Hydraulic machines which converts. which converts mechanical energy into hydraulic energy or pressure energy by means of by means of centrifugal force by means of centrifugal force acting acting on a fluid called centrifugal pump so the centrifugal pump is nothing but the hydraulic machines which convert hydraulic energy or mechanical energy into hydraulic energy or pressure energy by means of using centrifugal force on the fluid is called pumps it means that when we which apply when we apply the centrifugal force uh, on a fluid its pressure energy increases so we need to increase the pressure energy of the fluid why because the centrifugal pump is a device which is used to deliver the fluid from, from low head to high high head uh, means we need to increase its pressure energy from low pressure energy to high pressure energy right so uh, where is centrifugal pump is used as you seen that uh, in most uh, cases centrifugal pump is used in agriculture in agriculture uh, farmer use the centrifugal pump to deliver the water from low head to high head for his uh, field all right so as you can see in this picture uh, how the centrifugal pump is look like you can see in this picture so the another concept related to centrifugal pump is very important to know is that centrifugal pump centrifugal pump works on centrifugal pump works on forced vortex force vortex flow concept
एंड वट इज फोर्स वर्ट एक्स फ्लो कॉन्सेप्ट इट मीन्स इट मीन्स दैट वेन इट मीन्स दैट वेन अ सर्टेन मास ऑफ लिक्विड वेन अ सर्टेन वेन अ सर्टेन मास ऑफ लिक्विड is when a certain amount of liquid is rotated by rotated by and some rotated by and some external torque external torque or centrifugal force by some external torque on a centrifugal force its pressure energy or hydraulic energy increases this is the core concept of centrifugal pump all right so the pressure energy or hydraulic energy the increasing in pressure energy or hydraulic energy is proportional to its tangential velocity square of tangential velocity means Uh, tangential velocity of what tangential velocity of the rotating water it is given by v square by 2g all right as we know that v equal to r omega so r square omega square by 2g here we can see that the pressure energy is proportional to r square omega square all right so we can say that where uh, when r is increasing what is r r is the radius of the centrifugal pump it means that when the radius of the centrifugal pump will increase or the size of centrifugal pump will increase the pressure energy also will increase of a centrifugal pump so this is an <coughs> schematic diagram so this is an schematic diagram of a centrifugal pump so uh, we will see uh, main parts of centrifugal pump and how centrifugal pump is works all right so you can see the first part of centrifugal pump which is impeller the first part is impeller impeller is nothing but the rotating part of the centrifugal pump it consists of series of backward curved vanes and you can see it consists of backward curved vanes the impeller is mounted on a shaft which is connected to the shaft of electric motor it means that electric motors connected to a shaft and then the another another end of shaft is connected to this impeller when the electric motor starts rotating the shaft rotates and by rotating shaft this impeller is rotates all right so second part is casing casing we also seen in hydraulic turbines so it is similar to the casing of uh, hydraulic turbines it is in tight pressure it is in tight passes surrounding the impeller and it is designed in a such a way when the kinetic energy of the water discharges at the outlet outlet of the impeller it is converted into pressure energy before water enters into delivery pipe all right this is casing oh, okay it is uh, the um, impeller is covered with this casing and this casing is designed in such a way that when the water enters with some kinetic energy and it leaves the impeller it leave the impeller before leaving the the kinetic energy of this water is converted into pressure energy all right before before water enter into delivery pipe so this is casing the third part is suction pipe suction pipe this suction pipe is the pipe which is connected to the sump or the water source all right 
this sucks the water and provides the water some kinetic energy which is further converted into pressure energy the fourth part is delivery pipe delivery pipe the delivery pipe as word uh, suggesting delivery De delivery pipe is nothing but which delivers water outside or from low head to high head a pipe whose one end is connected to the outlet of the pump and other end is connected another end delivers the water at the required height is known as delivery pipe all right so this is all about the centrifugal pump and in uh, upcoming video we will discuss the velocity triangle of centrifugal pump and the another important uh, thing i want to tell you that this case this uh, casing also has three types first is volute casing vortex casing and casing with guided blades so also remember these types of casing all right uh, i will discuss this three type another three types of casing in the upcoming video so for till now this is sufficient and hope you will hope you like this lecture and if you like this lecture please do subscribe my channel and share these videos amongst your all classmates and friends thank you so much